Let's explore some story endings. Which character do you want to follow? You can come back later and try the other characters too. Now this is my favorite part of this game with the story endings. Just look at all these characters and you'll see why. Choose what Arthur could do next. Keep making dog jokes about Sue Ellen or stop making dog jokes or stop making dog jokes and tell Sue Ellen he's sorry. Okay, thought Arthur, if Sue Ellen won't accept my apology, I'll keep making jokes. So Arthur copied a picture of a sheepdog's head and put it on Sue Ellen. He actually does this in the TV episode. Arthur sent the picture in an email to Sue Ellen. When she saw the email, she got very upset. She felt like Arthur was never going to stop. In the TV episode, she actually cries when she saw that. The next day, Muffy and Francine told Arthur that Sue Ellen was leaving Mr. Ratburn's class just to get away from him. Arthur felt bad, but why couldn't she just take a joke? Arthur's friendship with Sue Ellen was never the same after that, and Arthur's friends were angry with him for a long, long time. The end. Do you like what Arthur did in this ending? Why? Let's see what else Arthur could do. Choose what Arthur could do next. Arthur stopped making dog jokes, but refused to tell Sue Ellen he was sorry. Muffy and Francine told him they wouldn't talk to him until he apologized to her. Now, as you saw, I usually go through the endings from top to bottom when I choose the characters. Arthur called Buster on the phone, but Buster wouldn't talk to him either. And that's when Arthur decides? Fine, thought Arthur. If my friends won't talk to me, that's their problem. I still think Sue Ellen is overreacting. Arthur didn't see his friends for a while. The next time they got together... Everybody was worried that Arthur would tease Sue Ellen again. The end. Do you like what Arthur did in this ending? Why? Let's see what else Arthur could do. Choose what Arthur could do next. Arthur thought about it. He remembered calling Sue Ellen a good sheep doggy. He remembered saying her sweater belonged in a dog show. And he remembered Sue Ellen looking upset when he said it was just a joke. He decided to give her a real apology. The next day, Arthur saw Sue Ellen's sweater in the donation bin. Arthur felt terrible. Sue Ellen loved that sweater so much. He decided to wear it when he apologized to her. In the TV episode, Arthur actually remembers all the things he did when he finds Sue Ellen's sweater in the donation bin. Arthur told Sue Ellen he was really sorry. He understood that he had hurt her feelings. It was all his fault. She was not overreacting. Sue Ellen accepted Arthur's apology, and the two of them were friends again. The end. Do you like what Arthur did in this ending? Why? Which ending did you like best? Why? Now, as you see, every single one of these endings is bad, in between, and the right choice. Let's see what the other characters could do. Let's explore some story. Choose what Sue Ellen could do next. Do nothing. Maybe Arthur will just come to his senses and stop. Or tease Arthur back. Or tell her mom and dad what's going on. This is the in-between choice. Even though Sue Ellen felt hurt, she decided to do nothing and just wait for Arthur to stop teasing her. The next day, Sue Ellen received an email from Arthur it was a picture of her with a sheepdog's head. What if Arthur never stopped teasing her? She decided to tell Mr. Ratburn that she wanted to change classes. When Arthur found out, he was shocked. He had no idea how much he had hurt Sue Ellen's feelings. Arthur's friends were really upset with him, too. Finally, Arthur gave her a real, heartfelt apology. Sue Ellen forgave him, but it took a long time for them to be good friends again. The end. Do you like what Sue Ellen did in this ending? Why? Let's see what else Sue Ellen could do. Choose what Sue Ellen could do next. Sue Ellen decided that the only way the to get Arthur choice. to stop bullying her was to tease him back. The next day, when Arthur made fun of Sue Ellen's sweater again, she made fun of his glasses. Arthur thought this was unfair. After all, 
He didn't think he was being mean, just funny. So Arthur found other things to tease Sue Ellen about. And Sue Ellen found other things to tease Arthur about. Some of their friends sided with Sue Ellen, and some of them sided with Arthur. It split up the whole group, and no one was happy. The end. They don't show any scenes of Sue Ellen teasing Arthur back in the TV episode. Do you like what Sue Ellen did in this ending? Why? Let's see what else Sue Ellen could do. Choose what Sue Ellen could do next. And they don't, definitely don't show do this. Do nothing. Maybe later that day, Sue Ellen told her mom and dad about what was going on with Arthur, and her mom gave Mrs. Reed a call. This is definitely wasn't in the TV episode. After the or call, this. Arthur's mom had a long talk with him. She reminded him about times he had been teased in the past, and how that had made him feel. For the first time, Arthur understood how much he'd hurt Sue Ellen, and he wrote her an email. Unlike the letter, this note was a real heartfelt apology. Do you like what Sue Ellen did? The next day, he ran into Sue Ellen on the way to school. At first, he was nervous that she might still be angry at him. But when he saw her smile, he knew that everything would be just fine. Sue Ellen said it was one of the nicest notes she'd ever received. The end. Do you like what Sue Ellen did in this ending? Why? Which ending did you like best? Why? Let's see what the other characters could do. Let's explore some I'm story endings. Buster. Choose what Buster could do next. Keep giving Arthur the silent treatment. Or tell Arthur that he's hurting Sue Ellen's feelings. Or talk to Sue Ellen. This is the wrong choice. Buster kept giving Arthur the silent treatment. No matter what Arthur said, Buster wouldn't talk to him. Arthur kept making fun of Sue Ellen's sweater. He even emailed her a picture he made of Sue Ellen with a sheepdog's head. Sue Ellen was really upset. She asked to leave Mr. Rapburn's class just to get away from Arthur. Buster's silent treatment hadn't worked, and now he was even more angry at Arthur. The end. Do you like what Buster did in this ending? Why? Let's see what else Buster could do. I guess you do. could call those the bad ending. Choose what Buster could do next. That's the right choice. Buster told Arthur that Sue Ellen's feelings were really hurt. Buster also reminded Arthur that other kids used to make fun of his glasses. Arthur thought about it. Buster was right. Other kids did used to make fun of him, and it really hurt his feelings. He realized he needed to give Sue Ellen a real apology. The next day, when Arthur saw Sue Ellen, he said, I'm sorry I made fun of your sweater. It was pretty mean, and I should have stopped making jokes when you told me to. Sue Ellen accepted Arthur's apology. Buster was happy. His friends were friends again. The end. Do you like what Buster did in this ending? Why? Let's see what else Buster could do. Choose what Buster could do next. Now this is the Keep in-between giving choice. Arthur the si Arthur is usually nice, Buster said to Sue Ellen. But right now... He's being mean. I want you to know that Muffy, Francine, and I are not going to laugh at Arthur's jokes anymore. Later that day, Arthur made more dog jokes. Sue Ellen and her friends all listened, but no one laughed. Soon, Arthur stopped. The next week, there were no more dog jokes. Sue Ellen was happy, the good part, but she was still but... worried that Arthur might start again. She and Arthur weren't as close friends as they were before, and that made Buster sad. The end. Do you like what Buster did in this ending? Why? Which ending did you like best? Why? Well, that's pretty much it. See ya, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications. I'll see you soon.